talk into my microphone and say that into my camera to viewers at the station I work at, it is disrespectful and degrading I don't to care. me. It's Two one is better than. Twice within just a couple of minutes, two guys went right onto my microphone. Yes, I get this every single day, ten times a day. I'm by rude. Hilarious. I don't care what Treat. you say. No, well, hey, nothing. Maybe that's what I'll do when they find her. I'll, I'll go and f her. F her right in the. The ACL. A victory f student. I did feel at times like a piece of meat. Hunt's story quickly went viral. After seeing it, Maple Leaf Sports and Entertainment phoned her, apologized, and then released a statement, saying it was working to identify the individuals. And when it did, they would be banned from all of its facilities. The organization went on to say it will provide extra security support to female reporters doing live hits at any of our games. Ontario Premier Kathleen Wynne tweeted too, commending the station for speaking out using the hashtag It's Never OK, the motto for the Ontario government's latest ad campaign combating violence against women. According to police in Toronto and other cities across Canada, it can also be against the law. You could end up with charges of cause of disturbance, breach of the peace, mischief, sexual harassment. It really depends on where the investigation took us. Hunt says she doesn't want to pursue formal charges, but she does want to keep this conversation going. It's so intense and so powerful. I'm almost hoping that people will police other people who want to do this. One of the men in that video is an employee of Ontario's Hydro One earning a six-figure salary. In a statement, that company says it's taking steps to terminate him. Peter? Chelsea Agro in Toronto tonight. Thanks, Chelsea.